I don't often get excited about video editing. I mean, it's video editing. It's a long process putting a video together and can be really boring, but sometimes something comes along and surprises you. For a few years now, I've been thinking about upscaling and fixing up some old video recordings, and one of the solutions that shows up on a search of this kind of thing is Topaz Labs and their video AI program. A few days ago, I downloaded it from the website, and without having a license, I tried it in trial mode on some old Command & Conquer FMV sequences. It's fully functional, but slaps a watermark over the export file. I was pretty amazed by what it managed to do, so I bought the package on a Black Friday deal. It came bundled with Photo AI and Gigapixel AI, the two Topaz Labs picture enhancement packages. Photo AI has some of the same normal tricks as other picture editing packages – denoising, sharpening, basic lighting adjustment control, that sort of thing. But the most interesting thing is the Recover Faces option. Here is a picture of me from… I have no idea, I must have been about 18, I think? Anyway, the original is long since lost. It was a passport photo that was then scanned at a low DPI decades ago, then resized badly and printed on a full A4 sheet. I then rescanned that recently to save a copy because I kinda like it, and created the checkered, blown out masterpiece you see before you. I would have thought nothing could be done with it, but if I tell it to recover the face. Wow. Yep, that was me nearly 30 years ago, and yes, that's what I did with my hair at the time. I'm not sure why it's made my eyes slightly bigger though, I'm not an anime character. So obviously this program has some uses. Your mileage will vary though, as images taken at a low resolution will turn into some kind of monstrous waxy mess if you upscale it too far. I haven't really played with it properly, but that example was a very good first impression. Gigapixel has an option to do the same thing. When it finishes, it's very close to the Photo AI one, but it depends on the picture. Take this two times upscaled pic of the exposed circuit board on an old PC. I would say Gigapixel does a better job overall, but it takes absolutely forever. It also takes over your graphics card and pushes the 3D usage to the max, so don't expect to play any games at the same time. Anyway, the star of the show is of course Video AI. I don't have a lot of video of myself, but here are some videos of me in 2006, I think, on a shotgun shooting course, no idea where or why. The videos are 176 by 144 in size and seem to be made of blurry squares. They're also at an insanely low frame count, 6.494 and 7.785 respectively. I messed around with some settings and this is what it produced at the same size. Pretty amazing stuff considering what it had to work with. I also tried upscaling it, but it turned into a scene from A Scanner Darkly. This 492 by a 240 FMV sequence from Command & Conquer Red Alert that I downloaded from the Internet Archive also worked pretty well when upscaled by four times and changed from 15 frames per second to 60. So yeah, just a brief view of my findings so far. For Black Friday, the three packages are bundled at $299 US dollars or £245. I'm not being paid by Topaz to do this. I tried it, I liked it. It's a lot to spend and there are free alternatives you can try online, but they normally have limits to either the upload size of the file or length of the video, that sort of thing. With Topaz, I guess you could upscale your whole DVD library after you've converted the files, as long as you have the room, and not have to worry about the length of the video. Anyway, just uh, my thought of the day. Um, the Black Friday deal is currently still available until probably the end of Cyber Monday. It doesn't cost you anything to just download it and give it a try, so why not? Oh, and in case it's of any interest, the AI generation is all handled on your computer. It isn't done on the cloud, so be prepared for slowdown of your computer. Anyway, um, give it a try. All right, bye.